You're sitting in a room full of strangers trying to sell yourself, but then there's this anxiety and nervousness building deep inside of you. How are you going to overcome it? Let's talk about it. First thing you must try to understand is nobody cares as much as you think they do. No one interviewing you is going to be sitting down at dinner next week thinking about your face, thinking about your story. They're just not going to be thinking about you. They might not even remember what you look like. Now, the truth of the matter is we are our own hero in our story. And we always think that there's this spotlight on us that people are always being critical and judging us. But all the people out there in this world, they're all dealing with their own problems. They're thinking about the bills that they have to pay. They're thinking about their relationship issues. They're thinking about what's affecting them personally. This doesn't mean that we shouldn't be trying our best on an interview. You should give your best effort, but that is all we can really do. Do not concern yourself if you think someone's staring at a piece of your clothing because you have a stain on there. Don't worry if you think they're not listening to you or they're not making eye contact with you or they don't like you. Maybe you're getting a negative facial expression, but we can't always control who will like us and who will not like us. Also, a lot of interviewers, they don't even want to be there. A lot of them want to work on what they're focused on for that week or that month. The task that they are actually paid to do, they want to be doing that. Now, for you, this is an opportunity. You might have been waiting for this opportunity for quite a while. This is a chance to focus on your performance and not the judgment from anyone else in the room. Next is preparation. If you want a boost in confidence, then you need to double down on researching, memorizing, and rehearsals. There are some things I could ask you right here today that you could just rattle off the top of your head. If I asked you, what is your name? Or if I asked you, what is your social security number? You probably could tell me without even thinking about it. Or what did you have for lunch yesterday? You don't think about it, it comes naturally. This is the same level that you have to be when answering these common questions on interviews. When giving your success stories that demonstrate your value, you need to be able to rattle it off your head without a second thought. You have a success story for every keyword that's in that job announcement, and you memorized it. If the job announcement mentions analyzed, 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 then you need to have a success story on how you analyzed and what were the results of you analyzing. Same thing when it comes to trained or evaluate these type of keywords. You structure your success story in the star format, situation, task, action, result, and you give it to them. And if you tell people, hey, I have an interview tomorrow or next week, a lot of people will say, hey, good luck. Good luck on that interview. But never forget what luck is. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Ask yourself, are you prepared for this opportunity? Next, you have to be okay and comfortable with rejection and failure. Every rejection is a step towards acceptance, and every failure is a step towards success. Welcome failure and find the lesson in it. If your failure was a lack of confidence, then you know the lesson. You have to prepare and rehearse more. If the failure is a lack of knowledge, then you have to research more. That is the lesson. Now, some jobs out there, they'll never be for you. They're always intended for someone else, and that's okay. But we do not know what is for us and what is not for us unless we try and we apply and we interview. Here's the thing. If you never try because you think the system is rigged or it's too hard, too difficult, too challenging, and you never even try, then you're rejecting yourself before anyone else gets the chance. And this is probably the worst thing that you can do in this situation. Next is deep and deliberate breathing. Deep breathing has gotten plenty of attention recently for helping reduce stress and anxiety. You can do this by deliberately inhaling through your mouth, holding and exhaling through your nose. Why does this work? Well, in theory, it increases the supply of oxygen to your brain and it quiets down your nervous system, the part of your body that activates the fight or flight response. Just a few minutes of deliberate breathing can make a world of difference. But if you can, try it for 10 minutes. Now this might not be ideal if you're going to an in-person interview and you're sitting in the chair and everyone's looking at you breathing in and out, in and out. 
So try to do this before you get to the interview. Better yet, if you have a virtual interview, you can do this at home. Also, exercise helps. I don't mean running two or three miles, but even walking up and down a flight of stairs or going for a long walk, that can help release some of that pent up energy. Next, remember you are interviewing the interviewer. This is lost upon us sometimes. We always think that others have to decide whether to accept us or not. But you have to always remember that you don't have to take the job offer. In fact, if you already have two or three job offers, you're basically interviewing them to see if they would be a good fit for you. This is probably the first time you'll meet your future boss. And maybe it isn't a good fit. Ask them, what is the operation tempo like? Ask them, what is the culture of this office? Try to get a feel if this would be a good position for you. When you ask questions like that, it kind of turns the tables and lets them know that you're seriously considering the job, but also you are judging whether they would be a good fit for you. This is a mindset shift. It's a change in the dynamic. Not only can they accept and reject you, but you can accept and reject them. Personally, I like to walk into the job interview already thinking I have other job offers. Even if I don't have other job offers, you need to think I have two or three job offers on the back burner. So you go in there with that extra layer of confidence and that'll help you. When you have other options, you in essence have power. Now, if you're currently preparing for an interview, you need to be ready for some of the basic questions like, why should we hire you? If you want to know the best way to answer that question, check out this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.